relax your mind Kick back and just unwind Don't let this moment overcome you Cause you need this vibe Music, it takes me there Places where I don't care I'm overflowing in this motion You can't help but stare Flowing like up and down Spinning around and round Back up and touch the ground I'm making but I can't sit down Moving from side to side Feel good cause I'm alive Don't you feel jealous Just get up and it's help me feel got this me vibe fire. What's going on YouTube? It's your main man, Mr. Council, back with another one, Saturday Motivation. You know how we do. I chose Saturday because Saturday is the day that's uniquely your own. Most people work a nine to five, so by the time they get to Saturday, they feel it's necessary to take their foot off the gas. But most artists, creatives, and business minds know that Saturday is the day to put your foot on the gas and handle your business. I'm looking a little clean today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, not for a good reason. I'm just leaving a funeral. I had to attend the funeral of uh, the father of one of my students. Um, I hate funerals. Um, I hate um, death. I've never gotten to a point where um, I've been able to accept it fully. Um, it's just brings me to a, a lowly spirit. So um, I'm just going to pray that God carries me through this motivation. But we got to carry on. Um, this is a different one today. Um, today is my first um, actual request for a video, um, which I'm glad because it, it lets me know that I'm making some sort of impact, even if it's only with one person. One of my students um, in class the other day asked me to talk about overthinking. He's like, Mr. Counsel, can you make a video about overthinking? A lot of times it's um, the end of the school year, Kids are stressed, teachers are stressed, administrators are stressed, parents are stressed. Um, because we're coming to the latter stages of the year, um, everybody's scrambling, trying to get to the next level, and it just causes a lot of tension. And I'm glad that she asked me that question because it got me to thinking a lot about myself and overthinking. Because that's something that I used to do for a very long time. So my message today is, even though it's directly about overthinking, it's more about belief in yourself. Um, overthinking happens for two reasons. Um, it's either one, lack of confidence in yourself, and number two, lack of awareness of who you actually are. And those are two of the biggest things that I've struggled with my entire life. See, when you overthink things, you're not confident in who you are, your abilities, your aura, your presence, your purpose. And so it gives you doubt. Doubt often seems to creep in and it almost seems like you can't stop it from happening. It's like because you want something so bad, you want to do so well so bad, you constantly thinking about the negative things that are going to turn out. See, that's where the overthinking comes from. It comes from a negative spirit. And oftentimes, that negative spirit comes because of our lack of preparation. And most of us, if we want to be honest with ourselves, we're not always prepared for our journeys. We're not always prepared for life, especially as a student. I remember as a student, I was one of the biggest procrastinators. And I think that happened because I worked well under pressure, but it was more because I was lazy, to be honest. But once I figured out that I worked best under pressure, I almost used to purposely put myself in that situation because I knew I would respond. And that knowing I would respond over and over again, when I would respond, it started to slowly show me belief in myself and my abilities and the things that I could do. So if you're overthinking the situation, it's because first off, you're not prepared. You're not prepared for what's coming because think about when you're prepared for something. Can't nobody tell you nothing because you know everything that you've done, all the work that you put in, all the hours that you worked on to, to make this happen, it's almost like you're overexcited to get to the event, the test, or whatever's gonna happen in life. You're overprepared, so it's a confidence that you have. And when you're overprepared, it's nothing like that kind of confidence because you've studied all aspects and all angles of whatever it is you're trying to do and you've realized you've gotten to a place where nobody can tell you nothing about that. And that's where that confidence comes in so you can do something without thinking. 
And see, I was thinking on um, my boys Golden State were playing last night. And it's been a series. It's been a tough battle back and forth. And a lot of it is they've been overthinking. But if they fall back on their preparation and all the things that they were doing, like the performance that Steph Curry was be able to put on last night, that's because of the preparation. That wasn't just something that just happens. See, God doesn't just grant you some great night like that over things just happening. He puts you in a situation where your back is up against the wall and automatically it's almost like a natural something comes out of you. It's raised because your back is up against the walls. You're challenged and you do something without thinking. That boy was playing last night without thinking because he knew everything that he could do last night was in him because of his preparation. All the shots he's taken in practice, all the situations he's been in in different games. It was a culmination last night of his ability. And so all he had to do was go out there and do it. But see, this entire time he's been overthinking. That's why you start missing shots. That's why he's been missing shots from the free throw line. Because he forgot who he was. And that's where the lack of awareness comes in. You have to understand who you are and why God made you. And when you get to that place, then all the overthinking will cease. So first of all, you have to be prepared. You have to put in the work. And you have to allow God and the universe to take care of the rest. Because there's certain things that are going to happen that are outside of your control. See, when we get into a situation where our back is against the wall, you think most people put themselves in that situation? No. The universe puts you in that situation to test you, to see how you're going to respond. And really, that is a test of your preparation. When you get put in a situation where your back is against the wall and you respond without thinking, that's all about your preparation and your awareness and who you are. It just naturally comes out. So if you're overthinking things too much, you got to stop and understand, do you know who you are? Do you know your purpose? Do you know why God has placed you in this situation? And are you prepared for what's coming? Did you do the work? Did you put in the hours? And if you look back and you understand that you haven't, you are going to constantly overthink yourself. It's just going to happen. Even when that great moment is supposed to happen, your lack of preparation comes in. See, that's why I like basketball when it's in the playoffs because a seven-game series will tell you it. by the time you get to game four, five, six, seven, the series has told you you have to tell on yourself because that team gets to study you for four, five, six, seven games. And so that's when your preparation kicks in. When the talent levels are even, it's not about that anymore. It's about your will. And so when you get... It's who's, who's done it more in practice, who's more prepared, who has um, different ways of adjusting to games or adjusting to the game of life. So you have to understand if you're overthinking yourself, it's probably because you're not prepared. It's probably because you have not put in the work and we're all victims of that. So I'm not pointing my finger when I say that, but I'm just saying this. If you ever catch yourself in a situation where you're overthinking something, think about your preparation and if you understand you have to be honest with yourself and if you get to a point where you understand that you know you haven't done the work then that's where the nerves and anxiety are going to kick in but if you know you've done the work all you have to do is understand who you are and if you understand who you are and how God made you and the fact that you're prepared there is nothing that can stop you so there's no thinking involved so then when your great moment comes you can rise to the occasion. And that's why I never wanted to be put in a position that I wasn't ready for because I always want to be prepared when I do something, when I take a next step. Now, it's something about being over-prepared. I mentioned that earlier. If you can get over-prepared and you're just doing too much, you're just shooting in the gym and never trying to get in the game, then, hey, it's just a waste of that preparation. But at some point, you're going to have to believe in yourself. That's why I'm trying to teach my players, man. You have to believe in yourself in order to allow your preparation to shine through. Because if you don't believe in you, who else is? And even if somebody else is, um, believes in you, it's worthless if it doesn't bleed into your spirit. It's worthless. So everything starts with belief. And it's not arrogance. It's not cockiness. It can extend to that if you allow it to. 
But believing in yourself is just understanding who you are and what you've done to become the person that you are. And so that's why I've stopped thinking about things. I've stopped overthinking. And it took me a long time to get to that place. And that was the first thing is because I didn't understand who I was. I always believed in myself. That's one thing I can say about me. I've always believed in myself, but I didn't always understand who I was and why I was here, why I am here. And now that I know those things, so all I have to do is act and thrust myself out there. See, I still get nervous when I have to stand in front of a crowd and perform. Man, that's nerve-wracking. Especially if I haven't done the preparation. If I go to a performance and I haven't practiced every day that week, man, I'm nervous. And that's because of my lack of preparation. So then I just fall back on my talent. And sometimes in that light, I make mistakes. But when I'm prepared, man, you couldn't give me that microphone quicker. You couldn't let me get on that stage fast. I'm running to that stage because I know exactly what I'm going to do to that crowd because I am prepared. So understand today, if you're overthinking yourself, first of all, you don't know who you are. You don't know why you're here. And you're not prepared for the moment. And that's a tough pill to swallow. Self-accountability. Most people don't want that. You don't want to be accountable to yourself. See, we like to lie to people. We like to make things, make our situations seem like they're better than they actually are because we want to put on a face for people. I can't do that. I can't live like that. So I'm going to continue to prepare myself for anything that I want to do. I'd rather be overprepared than underprepared because when I'm in that situation, I don't want to have to think. When I'm on stage, and I black out in my music, I don't want to have to think. When that band is behind me kicking it, I don't have a band anymore, but when I get one back, man, it's nothing like performing with a live band. And when you've prepared and you know your music, you know your songs, you know you still you practice, you can hit your notes, it's nothing like being able to lose yourself in a moment on stage, man. It's nothing like it. It's a large part of the reason why I do what I do. Especially when I step in front of a crowd that doesn't know what I'm about to give to them. Man. So once again, if I can motivate you today, if you're overthinking anything that you're trying to do, think about your preparation. Have you done the work? Have you put in the hours? Have you studied and learned everything you need to know about what you're trying to do? If you haven't, then get prepared. Don't make an excuse about it just get prepared and then you have to understand who you are and why you're here and when you get to that moment where the preparation meets awareness there's nothing that can stop you nothing that can stop you so please today stop overthinking and get in the gym put in the hours put in the work fulfill the preparation so when your moment comes you can shine the way God wants you to. But if you're still constantly overthinking, it's because you're not prepared the way you need to be. Or you just don't understand who God made you to be. And I don't want to walk around living like that. I lived like that for far too long. And now that I know my purpose, now the preparation is coming. So when my moment comes, I'm going to be ready to shine. I'm going to leave the description to my album, um, the link to my album in the description. Make sure you hit the like button, share, subscribe. Every week we coming. And if you have any ideas on anything that you want me to speak on, make sure you um, drop me an email. I'm going to leave my email in the description too. Um, because we're growing together, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing this together. And I appreciate that young lady for asking me that question. And this is going to help take me into a new level. I told you it's always a new level. And now that I know that some people are paying attention. Now the people are giving me something back so I can feed the people a little bit more. I want to thank everybody who continues to listen to me. Coming here week after week, we're not going to stop. This is year number two, ladies and gentlemen, Saturday Motivation. We're motivating minds and changing lives in 2022. That's my time, y'all. Peace to all my people in the struggle. The sun came up, I'm waking up, freshing up for my day. I felt like something might be nothing touched my soul this day. Took off riding, felt like vibing to some other gay.
How excited, can't describe it How I felt that day But now that nothing became something Cause she walked my way My eyes got bigger cause her figure Let me know no games The way her motion got me open Man, I can't explain Am I supposed to cold approach you Or just play it safe? She drives me crazy, oh that lady She 